Hello, this is Hussam Hurani. Today we will talk about dimensional reduction. Uh, and we will talk uh, precisely about the principal component analysis. But before that, let's just recap with what we've learned so far. We talked about classification and regression under supervised learning, and we covered the clustering under unsupervised learning. And today we'll talk about dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction is unsupervised learning. This means that you have data with not label, not labeled. So you have data that you wanted to reduce. Reduced dimensionality means you need to, to reduce number of features. Suppose that you have, for example, this data set that has, for example, 20 or 30 columns. The question, can you reduce the 20, 30 columns or features into five, six, seven features only or two features so you can visualize it, deal with it, understand it more? The answer is yes. <clears throat> So under damage reduction in orange data mining, we have BCA, we have TSNE, we have MTS, and we have manifold learning. We will talk about all these algorithms in the coming uh, lessons, but today we'll focus on BCA. So the question, if you have this data set, for example, Iris data set, we have four columns, we have four features. Can we reduce this into two features only or three features? We will see the, the, this, this in, in, in a bit in orange data mining. Also in housing data set, for example, if you have such data set that has many columns, many features, can we reduce this into just two features or three features so we can visualize, so, so we can deal with, understand it? The answer is absolutely yes. <clears throat> and let's uh, uh, go directly to orange data mining and we will use file uh, widget, okay? And we will use uh, iris data set. And from iris data set, we're gonna use the four features as you can see. I'm going to skip this for now, the uh, iris uh, categorical, uh, because I don't want to deal with it as a target. I have just only four features. I need to reduce uh, this into two or three, for example, uh, BCAs. So how can I do this? It's very simple. But before that, let's first see the data table. This is the data table. So we have just only four columns, as you can see here. OK, this is the first one. Second thing, we need to connect this to BCA, Principal Component Analysis, okay? From Principal Component Analysis, you can uh, control number of components, and this will lead you to the explained variance per these components. To simplify things, as, and suppose that uh, I, I gonna uh, grab or I drag this line into this one or the first the first one which is one one component so i have one component the one component explained 72 percent of the whole variance which is variance which is which is acceptable but if i move to this two two principal component you need to grab it drag it here two this means that you need uh, this two components uh, uh, explained around 95 percent of the variance which is excellent if you go to the third one here, three components, you explain 99%. So maybe no need for the fourth uh, component. How to see this? You can connect directly this into um, a data table. This is the data table. Okay. And you can see that uh, if, you, if, if you select, for example, two, let, let me just open both. Let me open both uh, for us. So you can... We can see all. So if I open the first one, which is this one here. So if I choose a th a three component analysis, this is the three component analysis. BC1, BC2, BC3. These are the values. And you explain almost 99%. If I move this into two component analysis, then we will have just two component analysis. And uh, you explain 95% uh, for the variance, okay? So this is what's happening in terms of PCAs and how to reduce the dimensionality. So we reduce it from four to two, but you got here 95% uh, using the two component analysis. We can also view uh, another thing here, which is we can have data table, but I'm gonna connect uh, this data table with transformed data and component uh, to data. Okay, and I'm gonna choose uh, two component analysis as you can see, and the variance is 95%. So if I open this one now, this is the component BC1, BC2, and this is the variance uh, per each component. Per BC1, it's 72%, and BC2, it's 23%. Total is 
95 percent okay uh, this is uh, the second view i want to also show you uh, the scatter scatter but for scatter okay let me let me just uh, switch on this one the target so i can view in colors the the items for you so you know, we have two pcs for example we have two pcs here and you can see that from the pcs uh, you have pc1 and pc2 uh, as you can see and the color colors are iris you can check that this is cluster the red is a cluster and the green are a cluster these are the two uh, items the two component analysis but also uh, you can click if you want and to find informative uh, uh, projections start and it will bring you all the uh, combinations where you can see all these you know um, uh, the, uh, clusters uh, or the groups uh, per each uh, PCA per uh, uh, feature or BCA per PC, BCA like this one for example BC1, BC2 also you can uh, from here choose for example three 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 components which is 99% so if you open this one uh, you can have BC1 with BC2 or with BC3 so you have this data now transformed into another dimension uh, reduced dimensions and instead of having four features now you have three features or you can have even two features two BCAs to view the data and to manipulate the data and visualize it and see it yani, um, to explain this suppose you, that you have for example the housing data set let's, let's go to housing data set and try to um, uh, work on the iris uh, on the housing data set so I will choose from here the housing data set okay this is the housing data set so uh, you can pick up which comp how many component analysis you have uh, and if you try to visualize this data it's gonna be very difficult if you need to visualize the data because you have 13 features how are you gonna visualize this but with the BCA now uh, you can have for example three components with 67 percent variance let's increase this into uh, 75 80 percent by having five which is for me i think it's good but let, let's have six six components instead of 13. Uh, so by having six <clears throat> you can open this one now and you can visualize the data uh, much easier than the way that you if you want to visualize it with the 13 items so you can find informative uh, uh, projections and you can have different projections the way that you want you can have just BCAs with BCAs for example here you can choose BCA, BCA uh, 1 with BCA for example 2 so you are visualizing the data this way or with uh, BCA for example 3 uh, or 4 or you can uh, get the best the best uh, from here for example it predicted that uh, state with bc3 will uh, have a very good visualization which is scoring at the end of the day for your plotting so this is what's happening with the uh, dimension reduction with the bca straightforward it's direct you can play with it you can minimize how many um, uh, bca you want to have in your uh, data so you can reduce the dimensionality this is the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and we will continue um, talking about dimensionality reduction in the coming few lessons. I hope that you enjoy it and we'll see you there. Bye.